Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, something a little bit different. We are gonna do 10 things I cannot live without. No Hugo or my Star Trek mug, nothing like that. I better do a wristwatch check before we get into it. I'm wearing my Brightling Navi Timer the Cosmonaut there. What else could I say about this watch that I haven't said already? I think, favorite chronograph? I don't, yeah, I think that's pretty fair. <laughs> Okay, this is what's called a kopoloi in uh, Greek, uh, although I'm probably completely butchering it. I learned about these in Istanbul when I was traveling around uh, Turkey. I traveled the uh, Mediterranean extensively, half my family's from Rome, uh, so we'd always use Italy as a kind of jumping off point. When I was in the Grand Bazaar in, in, in Turkey, in, in sorry, Istanbul, you'd see a lot of old men kind of flipping this around playing with the, their prayer beads and uh, then when I went to Sant Santorini uh, in the islands there, the Greek islands, the Greeks also uh, have the same thing, different name. I liked it, I li it kind of reminds me of that time, so I find it very relaxing, therapeutic, brings me luck. I love gemstones, this is my favourite one which is tiger eye. A little memento from my travels, always got kopuloi and I have different beads, different stones, depending on what I'm wearing, depending on how I'm feeling, etc. Meditations. Of course I don't have it. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. I have my bookshelf right here. Marcus Aurelius, you've heard me talk about this. In fact, actually, this is a brand new copy. I have, look, I have another one. There, there's another one. So I have multiple copies. I give these away to anybody that will take them. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm not a stoic philosopher, but this book has helped me no end. The full title should rarely be called Meditations on Death. I know, a bit macabre, but it's, it's about celebrating life, actually, and a positive way of approaching life. It's full of such useful advice. I carry one of these with me everywhere. And I got the habit off Kurt Cobain. I saw this really interesting interview with Kurt Cobain, and he talked about the, the book Perfume, which was the inspiration behind, so I think it, possibly Nevermind or In Vitro was the other, was that the other album? Yeah, he thinks he was so obsessed with this book. He would carry perfume, and it's, it has been adapted masterfully into a very beautiful film. We we listen to music all the time. Why not reread a book? And this book just speaks to me so so much. Uh, it's great advice on life. Invaluable. It's short. It's small. You can pop it in your bag. As the title suggests, it has a very meditative meditative. <laughs> I can't say that. Meditative. 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 As the title suggests, it has a very meditative quality to it. Good old Marcus Rella. If you didn't know, he was a Roman emperor many, many years ago, so. The signet ring. Now, this is my latest one, which I got given, not given, what am I talking about? I had this commissioned at Christmas, and it's from the Oxford Signet Ring Company. This is the traditional with the family crest, but uh, you can have your initials, you can, you know, I've done loads of videos, but I had two of these commissioned, one for myself, uh, and this is a red sardonic. For me, it's a wonderful tradition to uphold and a connection to my loved ones. You would actually seal a letter or sign a letter with this. And it was a way of identifying yourself. Signet rings are, I think some of the earliest ones go back to ancient Egypt. The Romans, uh, again, the Romans, very fitting, brought it to Northern Europe and then really kind of spread in medieval times. That's where our line actually dates back from. So it's a, it's a nice kind of reminder of where I'm from. As you guys know, this was the inspiration for the emblem of the channel. We changed the, the cross obviously to an hourglass to kind of reflect the nature of the channel. And I think it's just more encompassing of everybody out there. So it's not just me, it's it's you guys as well now. So and obviously the lion, a symbol of strength, uh, honor, this kind of thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is my MacBook Pro and I've adorned it with lots of things that make me smile. <laughs> so I have pin-up girls, uh, micro machines, retro gaming, gremlins, NDC straps, bit of Star Trek. It's a bit of an amalgamation of all the nerdy things I like, or some of the nerdy things I like. A lot of people in these kind of videos have their phones. Um, to me, I, I could quite easily do without a phone. I would take this over a phone any day of the week because it's crucial to editing my videos. In the background, you'll see there's a big computer there. That's for the more heavy duty stuff. I'll give you an example, the, um, the Milgauss video that I just did. The intro was very intricate with the tons of layering and photography of the watches, there's animations, there's all kinds of things going on. So I need something really powerful and portable to make it all happen. So this is essentially my main tool. One of my first videos on the channel was how to make coffee with a little Bialetti coffee maker. Coffee is about the only thing I, 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 well, obviously water, but I mean, I drink coffee religiously. I love Lavazza, I love opening the, the bag, you know, when you cut it open and the, it's because it's vacuum packed usually. Uh, I'll buy the tin occasionally and then refill the tin. But that smell, it takes me back to Italy, it takes me back to living in Florence, living in Cordovado where I grew up, Rome. Absolutely essential for me. Probably followed by wine and vodka, but if I don't have my, I can't function without Lavazza, without coffee, so there we go. Okay, number six is a knife. I cannot leave home without, <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds bad. Check the laws where you live, do not, carry, I'm not advocating carrying knives. What I'm saying is that for me, it's an essential tool. I use a knife every day. Again, another Roman invention. Well, actually not the knife, the folding knife. The folding knife, the knife that folds into the handle was a Roman invention, if you didn't know. It's the fundamentals of survival. So this is probably my favorite everyday carry. This is a, a bench made. Yeah, I said it correctly. This is called the Griptilian. I've put a little lanyard on it. I, I love it because it's a, it's a well-made, solid, usable knife. It is also made in the USA. For me, I, I love supporting brands and products that are made in countries that, that I care about, that are, that are important to me. This is a very tactical knife, you know, so I have something very traditional, my layol or lagiole, depending on what part of France, whichever way I pronounce it, the other half, has a go at me so you can never get it right. This is a very traditional, uh, originally a, a shepherd's knife, has a little rosary cross Jun in the juniper handle, which is a, a, a type of wood, the Napoleonic B there on the locking mechanism. This is a bit smaller, a little bit more elegant. Uh, if I'm more formally dressed, then I'll probably take this Is that Rise of Valkyrie? It is, isn't it? You know better than I do. Yeah, that was my pathetic rendition of Ride of the Valkyries. My Wagner Opera Box set. <laughs> so if you don't know uh, TGV, my initials, T is for Tristano, the Italian version, I guess, or interpretive version of Tristan. Uh, which is originally actually a Celtic name, but I was pretty much named after Tristan and Isolde, uh, one of the most romantic operas ever made. I love all kinds of music, but there's something about his operas that just speaks to my soul. And there's a whole book, I have a whole book written about the court. Where is it? Oh, here we go. It's right here. There we go. Look. Very dusty, but there you go. The Tristan Court. I adore all the overtures in particular. Tannhauser, I think, is highly underrated. It's somehow kind of destiny. It, it, can I say that? Is that corny? You can say that. Yeah, I think it was destiny that I was destined to love this music. When I put it on in the morning, it just starts my day off perfectly fine. Um, but, you know, I must stress that I, I listen to all kinds of music, everything from drum and bass to K-trap. <laughs> uh, to, um, who else? Capo Plaza. Shout out to Capo Plaza. Shout out to Capo Plaza. Okay, next is my Parker Jotters and 
my notepad. I've already messed up because this is a Fisher 197, which I reviewed. This is the official pen used by astronauts. Uh, I love this pen, but actually if I had to choose, it would be the Parker Jotter because the Parker Jotter is the only one I've actually customized. It's a bit of a trend that's come back. Don Draper with his one, which I also have. I, I have every color. They're very affordable. You can match them with your attire. I have them dotted about the place. I have gold tone ones. I have the blue, simple blue is my favorite. There are collectible ones. There's ones with all kinds of crazy designs. In my notebook, I have little notes to myself. A lot of it is actually, and I'll just show it to you there, is uh, words that I've read in books, so for example, that I want to uh, learn. Dionysian, I've been longing to drop that into a sentence. Uh, <laughs> punctilio, that's a great, that's, I mean, the English language is so rich. It's the largest uh, language in, in existence in terms of its vocabulary. Uh, interestingly, Russian is second. There's French words, if you look at the etymology of a lot of words, there's French words, there's Italian words, if you look at music, for example. There's German words, and, and, and um, not many languages are such an interesting amalgamation. So I love to learn as many words as I can. Punctilio, attention to detail, very punctilious. I aspire to be very punctilious. Observations, um, I'm not gonna bore you with all of these, but I, I have about 101 things that make a gentleman. So, for example, number 13, uh, dress your age. Uh, number eight, a gentleman should be able to make a fire without matches. Uh, number 11, look people in the eye when you are talking to them. Plans for videos. I'm old school, I like to physically write things down. My mission is to be erudite, there you go. So, uh, to have a, an acerbic wit. Uh, <laughs> oh, and then I've got lists of movies I want to watch. What was the, top of the, you want to watch? the top movie I want to watch. Actually, it's not a movie. It's the series Westworld, which used to be a movie. I have the movie. It's got Anthony Hopkins. It's been adapted into a, a, a television series, uh, originally written by Michael. Uh, is it Crichton? Crichton. Crichton. Right, there you go. This is replaceable. So this is I have in my pocket. Um, I kind of swayed and I can tuck things. When I travel, I put my passport in here. Floris number 89. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. It's because when I bring things out on the table, it feels like I'm doing QVC. So this is the best fragrance in the world. No, um, this is my favorite fragrance. It reminds me of this is gonna sound really cheesy, but it reminds me of England. <laughs> it just starts, I'm sorry. Uh, is that cheesy? No. It does, it reminds me of England. Okay, when I was a little kid, I used to go to Florist, the, the, the store on German Street with my mum, and I used to get the free little samples, and this was my favorite. I tell you why it reminds me of England. The lavender reminds me of my mother's garden. It has a very kind of woody smell, uh, I, I'm, am I allowed to say Woody? No, I think Woody Well, apparently I can't say Woody, <laughs> Woody, because I think that means something else. Woodland is that better? <laughs> it has a. Uh, it's what kind? Woodsy. That's not even a word. Okay, it has an oaky, an oak-like. Is that better? Okay, it has an oak, oak moss and cedarwood. Oak moss and cedarwood, there we go. Those are, I think, the, the, the key notes or the top notes or whatever they, they call it. And then I found out later on it, it was in the Ian Fleming James Bond novels and of course, so therefore it's the James Bond fragrance. In my Christmas video, I went to Floris. I had the pleasure of meeting one of the descendants of the original, because this is the oldest, I think in the UK, the oldest perfumery. I stench of it uh, constantly. Um, I, yeah, I, I do the, the faux pas of, of putting way too much on, you know? But I love it, I would, I would bathe in it if I could. Last, but my no means least, da 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 da. Watches, yay! <laughs> so I had to have watches in there. This beautiful case is made by Kolareb. 
handmade in Italy. Vera Pelle, the real thing, real leather. I quickly stuffed in here my four favorite watches. The 30 Atmos, no date. This is number one. That was co-designed with me and Squale. Um, so that's my favorite dive watch. I have to have a dress watch, moon phase, enamel dial, the epitome of a super thin little JLC movement in there. Oh, it's a little bit dirty. So this is why you can use this. To give it a little wipe there. I wear this at Christmas. And then my favorite watch, again, a little bit of dust, so I'll just wipe that. The Rolex Explorer on a mil spec Phoenix strap, the real McCoy. I had to put a Seiko. I was about to put the SKX, my modded SKX, but then I, had, I already have a diver. I, I also wanted an excuse to uh, have my NDC, so no other watch goes better than, with an NDC. And this is just a great all round. This is like the perfect collection here. I think I want to be like DuckTales, but instead of swimming in money, I want to swim in watches. But then they'd get all scratched, so they'd have to be individually wrapped in bubble wrap. And then I could actually physically swim and not hurt myself. Pat, 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 pat. Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, please do not forget to add your top 10 essentials in the comments below. I'd really love to know uh, what you can't live without. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.